Right after the founders signed this, our Constitution, Ben Franklin said, I agree to this Constitution because I think a general government necessary. But then he went on to say, this is likely to end in despotism, as other forms have done before it. Phew, it's creepy, but true. Most governments go bad. Freedom is not the natural state of things. So three cheers for state competition. Maybe a rumble between the states will preserve liberty, limit the autocrats' power to take our freedom, because we can move to other states. One group of liberty-loving people decided the best way to increase liberty would be to move from a small state and then get 20,000 other freedom lovers to move to that state too, and then they would have enough votes to prevent big government from dominating their lives. So which state? Well, it would need to be small, so the 20,000 votes would really make a difference. They held a vote, and New Hampshire won. New Hampshire already has lax gun laws, no sales tax, and the freedom to ride a motorcycle without a helmet. And so far, about 14,000 people have agreed to move. A thousand have moved already. They're not the 20,000, but they're gaining about 30 new members a week. They call themselves the Free State Project. However, New Hampshire's no libertarian paradise. State and local taxes have increased. It's not a right-to-work state. Zoning laws in some areas raise the price of housing. In the Mercatus Freedom Ranking, uh, New Hampshire fell from second place to fourth place. But the Free Staters are fighting back. More than a dozen have already been elected to the state legislature. A few practice civil disobedience. When officials told a Free Stater to get this couch off his lawn, he named it Freedom Couch, and he refused to move it. He spent three days in jail for that. Mother Jones reports that others have been cited for violating open container laws during a city council meeting or for indecent exposure and firearms possession at the same time. And this video shows a bunch of them smoking marijuana inside a police station. Police didn't arrest anybody. The Free State Project's having a get-together next month. It's called Pork Fest. Not because of the pork of big government, but because a libertarian mascot is the porcupine, which sends the message, leave me alone. I mind my own business. I won't bother you. But if you intrude on me, remember, I have spikes. It's a good model. I wish politicians in all 50 states saw people as individuals with prickly quills who want to be left alone. That's our show. I'm John Stossel.